What is one of the best tricks that you could learn for fishing heavy cover? Good morning, guys and girls. May 14, May 14, our catch of the day is going to be from 2 Timothy 1 7. 2 Timothy 1 7. And uh, the letters to Timothy, 1 and 2 Timothy, were written by Paul. Timothy, of course, was a young, uh, I guess you'd say a young preacher in today's term. And uh, Paul was writing him the letter to encourage him, to build him up, and to teach him how he should act out there while he was, you know, starting and learning and, 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 and building his preaching, I guess in today's term, again, you'd say today's career. Uh, I wrote the Catch of the Book, uh, Catch of the Day uh, do devotional several years ago. It contains a scripture for every day, a uh, devotional for every day, and a fishing tip for every day. So not only will you become a better person if you are watching and, and reading from the Catch of the Day book, but you'll become a better fisherman at the same time. The only place you can get the video of Catch of the Day is right here on the Catch of the Day channel. And, uh, and so you need to subscribe to that Catch of the Day YouTube channel. If you're not on there, you need to hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you're on Facebook, if you're on the other ch channel, Jimmy Houston Outdoors YouTube, uh, you want to be sure and get on the Catch of the Day channel. From 2 Timothy 1.7, God did not give us a spirit that makes us afraid, but a spirit of power and love and self-control. So, man, that's a, bad, that's a mouthful there. A spirit of power and of love and in self-control. Man, we want that power, don't we? One of the tricks to fishing heavy cover is short cast. That's right, short cast. This knowing how to pitch and flip comes in really, really handy. When the fish are so secure in heavy cover, we can get in really close and not spook them. In other words, they're not afraid, they're not spooked. We can get really, really close to them where we can, we can flip uh, in, in a heavy brush pile or uh, a heavy bunch of logs or whatever, a matted cover, anything like that. We can pitch to that, we can fish in really, really close to the fish because they're not afraid. Uh, something we talked about a little bit earlier in that, in that deal, that, that God did not give us a spirit that makes us afraid, okay? God places his Holy Spirit in us to keep us from fear. He gives us his spirit of confidence and of power, God's power. That's why we're not afraid, because we've got his Holy Spirit inside of us, and it's a spirit of confidence and of power. His spirit also produces other benefits, love and self-control. How do we get this amazing spirit? Can we order it on television? How much do we pay? Are there shipping and handling charges? Actually, God gives this spirit of power, of love, and self-control to everyone he saves, saves. Every single one of us he saves. He gives this Holy Spirit a power, love, and self-control. Puts it right down inside of us. This is that, wait, there's more part of salvation. Ask God to let his spirit work in you today. God gives this power to everyone he saves. Who does he pick to save? He picks the people that Ask him to be saved. When you realize and acknowledge that Jesus Christ is the Son of God that came to earth to pay for your sins and he was crucified on that cross, he died, he was buried, and he walked out of that grave a live man three days later. And his blood covers your sin. When you acknowledge that that's a fact, and you ask God to come into your heart and save you, and you make him Lord of your life, he'll do it just like that. In a heartbeat, he saves you. And when he saves you, he puts his Holy Spirit inside you to guide you, to lead you, to talk to you, to listen to you, and it's a spirit of power. It keeps us from being afraid in times like this. It's a power that also gives you love, and self-control, something that we all really want and we all really need. Here's our tip for today. Practice flipping and pitching with a coffee cup. That's right. That's what you want to do to learn to become really, really good at fishing up close to those fish and flipping and pitching. Now, flipping is kind of becoming a dying art. 
Uh, I'm going to do a vid real soon here, and I'll talk about both pitching and flipping, and we'll stick that up. Uh, we've done that before, but it's been a while, and we've got uh, a lot of people on Facebook now that wasn't on there even just a few months ago. So we're going to do another vid on uh, pitching and flipping, and I'll tell you how to do it. But flipping is where you're simply, you got, you know, maybe 15 to 20, 25 feet at the most that you're flipping, usually about double the length of your rod. So if you've got a seven and a half foot rod, you're usually flipping at about 15 feet. And it's a matter of taking the line out and you're manipulating everything with your hand. Pitching is where you're actually pitching your bait out you're not casting but you're pitching and you can do that out at distances usually 25 or 30 feet I pitch a long way I pitch really I keep my reels wide open so I pitch about as far or further than most people normally cast so but we'll talk about and I'll do a video real quick how to pitch how to flip we'll teach you how to do both because flipping is becoming a dying art but it's something you need to learn how to do because when the fish are in heavy cover you want to go after them with big baits heavy line and a flipping technique. The best way to learn how to flip is practicing in a coffee cup. That's right, a coffee cup. Now I make a joke, some of you might want to use the can to coffee come in or a mineral bucket or something a little bit bigger, but I, the, really the best way is a coffee cup, a small target, and learn to flip that jig in that coffee cup. Once you can do it seven, eight, nine times out of 10, 10 or 15, 20 times in a row, you're gonna become a good flipper and you're gonna catch more fish because of it. So hopefully all of you have got the spirit of the Holy God right inside of you. If you don't, ask God to save you. He'll give you that Holy Spirit and it will guide you every second of every day. Hey guys and girls, I love you.